Hello there. Let's go, baby. You know how it is. Back to back wire recordings. My name is Ellie Moses, a 24 year old law and film shooter here for Sydney, Australia. Absolutely shooting a shot and absolutely enjoying the heck out of the wire season three. Today, we are up to episode five, titled Straight and True. We're going to get into the reaction. I'm going to waste no more time with this thing. And as always, let's absolutely smash it. Let's go. When the police got you shackled up, you make a move, right? You help yourself out. But you just start snitching for no reason. Whoa, whoa, doesn't make whoa, no whoa, whoa. <laughs> let, let me track this. You are populating that you can tattle tell when you locked up, but you can't do it straight up for the money. I populating. <laughs> Some, but that, that, that's some weak ass thinking. You you equivocating like a motherfucker. It's part of being a soldier. I mean, that's true, right? That's what that's what you say. Yeah, that's why I put all his models in his feet. You wait, you wait till you ain't a pup no more. See if you ain't looking for something a little more, a little more steady for your own self. What the fuck? You ill already? It's not even past morning. I hope. I'm cool, man. I'm, fi I'm fine. I hope Johnny don't rat you know, out Bubs, if that makes sense. Pay, like. You're gonna be better. No, fuck that, Bubs. All right, I'm not, I'm not a fucking snitch. Yo, you know, how can I argue the other side? Say that if you drop down a duck a charge, then you a snitch. You do it as a living. You, you're a professional. You see that? That ladder right there? Just like old times, man. I'll be the bad guy. You be the Lone Ranger. Be that man, B. We get paid more hooking up to my girl. But that's cash money right there. Come on, Bob, stay strong. Uh, with the white man, I best be the bad guy. That way he ain't confused. All right, meet me in the alley. Come on, Bob's. Don't out your wallet or I'm gonna jerk this ladder right out. What? No, Come no. On, I'm a poor man who ain't playing. No, 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 no. Play her. Uh, huh. hey, okay. Hey, hey, leave that man alone. I'm... Here, here. I, I can, I can, I yeah, can. Yeah, no, no, you saved my ass. Oh, it's appreciated, you know? <laughs> Yo, Bubs, you won't fucking believe this. Bubs. Come on, Bob's. Bob sees a brighter future. Come on. I had such fucking hopes for us. McNulty. <laughs> is that Cuddy? Yo, Cuddy went on a madness at the end of last episode, which was about Dennis. like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Dennis! Your friend called again this morning. She said for you to remember your appointment. There's a job in it. If you're still looking. He might be too in deep now. <laughs> Yo, Stringer told me the friends on college campus. <laughs> Gring is business level now, man. He gonna be in the open. He don't care. Name me Chris Bartlow. Bartlow with a B. Part, like, like, like white people got in their hair, and low like a low bottom dope thing. Part low. Yeah, what I said. So he's Marlo's muscle. Yeah, so... Come on. How much is that worth? Five if I could work up a photo ID. And if I show you where Marlo hides his Mercedes? Benz would go for 15. I mean, you don't know it, but these are hard times in the hard land. You're killing me out here, girl. All right, 25 for the bins. <laughs> you're good people. <laughs> so let's, let's total up. We had um, 40, right? Yeah, bank that for me. Bank it? For what? Got me a plan, girl. Hoppers out here, they only be wearing them big white t-shirts a couple of times before they chuck them. So I'm thinking, while I'm out here working for y'all, get my hands up, sell them shirts in the corner, I'll make my nut come and angle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I like that. He, he's saving for the future. Project developer Stringer. <laughs> See, now with Avon coming out soon, hopefully. I don't know what 
more you could have done. I say hopefully. But with Avon coming out, Avon, I feel like, handles the street stuff much more better than Stringer. Like, in my opinion. Um, Stringer has made a couple errors or a lot of errors in terms of the street dealings. The streets is the streets. Um, and him going about it his ways doesn't necessarily align with the street game, right? Like, that that makes sense. Um, the streets will always be the streets. And if you try and play it too tactical, like Stringer tried to, um, it's not always going to work out. And that's what Avon and Stringer, that's why Avon and Stringer are a tag team. Here you are giving them their own block or two, offering them a place to sell drugs in peace, and do they even fucking listen? It's a damn shame, too, because if it worked, you might have had a positive effect on the community. Ah, fuck this bullshit already. <laughs> Man, they gave us 15 cases illegal, but they shorted us on the colored bonds. What's going on, man? Oh. I got this. <laughs> Officer. Detective String. You remember? The bird trial. Uh -huh. Detective McNulty. You want something copied, man? <laughs> Search warrants. Court papers. Anything I do to help, you know? <laughs> I haven't seen you around the way. I'm not around the way no more. You want to find me? I'm right here. Right here, huh? Mm-hmm. This and some real estate I'm working on is all. You gotta keep it boring. Proposition Joe said it. BMB Enterprises. Say, where you living, man? Where am I living? Well, if you're thinking of coming downtown, I got some condos about to come on the line in eight months. You say the word, I'm gonna hook you up something nice down there by the Loft apartments. Nice. Disappoint me, String. I had such fucking hopes for us. <laughs> Have a nice day, officer. <laughs> he wanted to see him in court again one day. <laughs> you see this shit? I mean, that kid who got shot in the parking lot in Lake Clifton a couple months ago. Damn, that ca them Carcetti campaign bro. stuff is what going strong. It? Well, last night they just found the only eyewitness in an alleyway. Bunch of holes in him. Damn. What do you mean, and? You're talking about a state's witness. You let a witness get killed in a high-profile case like this, it says the city's broken, can't be fixed. Uh-oh. Sounds like we found an issue. No, fuck the politics for a minute. You know, this is something we all need to be on the same page with. You serious, Tony? You let shit like this stand, pretty soon you got nothing left. You gonna go public and bang the mayor with it? See, you gonna bang Burrell and the state's attorney then? I, I know this guy's mischievous schemes, man. Like, it seems like he's saying all the right things, like identifying all the issues um, and saying it to the right people, if that makes sense. Um, but I feel like deep down, this guy, I don't know. I just feel like he's not that good of a human being. He may say all the right stuff, but I feel like at the same time, he may, he might be playing his dirty tactics on the audience as well. Um, and he's keeping his cards very close to his chest because he's already cheated on his wife. He's cheated on his family. So we know what lengths this guy could probably go through to get to mayor. And who knows? He might completely rickroll everyone if he does get to mayor in terms of his promises and things like that. I ain't gonna bang nobody. Like I said, fuck the politics for once. But there is a problem here. And I'm gonna do something to fix it. See, you, you say... You and a little red underpants. <laughs> Oh, you stashed that shit in the phone booth. <laughs> I always wondered about that. It seems like he's fighting the good fight, or wants to fight the good fight. So, Dang. I'm not allow it for now. I like a piece of that. You like any piece at all? Nigga, I like a piece of your mother. Hey, mother. Yo, stop fucking <laughs> around. I ain't started that shit. Foles be here on this shit with us. Y'all stay with the girl. I'll get back with y'all down the way. Y'all say what? Yo, I made a date. While back, got the key. Man, man, dude, got the key. <laughs> 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 Let me find out he pussy whooped like this motherfucker over here. Now, once again, from the data, when are most cars stolen? Sir, at night. Here we go with the stats unit, again. Which I believe is charged with deterring the theft of autos. When do you work? The day shift, 8 to 4. But, sir, as I tried to explain, that means preventing crime by relying on computer-generated data. 
not on your fly by your fucked up ass instinct. Give me the auto theft numbers for downtown parking lots on Friday nights. Sir, I have to check that. And so many grilling right, systems. Colonel, I was made to understand that recovering Officer Dozerman's lost weapon was a priority. Of the gun, yes. Sir. We're on it, sir. Making progress as we speak. The grillings Lieutenant, that are happening here sir, is sensational. I understand that prevention is the way to go, and we'll immediately change our hours to reflect the data. All right, Lieutenant. Fecal gravity. Hey, you beat on the right people, and the shit rolls down the hill. Dennis says it? Cuddy works for me. Cuddy, then. Oh, she did say he had some work at the churches. Is this going to be us here? You know, I mean, Grace. Sister Grace called on your behalf, but to my knowledge, she didn't plan to be here. Maybe get me some jobs or put my name on a list or something. I don't know. I should tell you up front, we don't do like that here. You want a job, you're going to have to work to get it. We'll help, but it's going to be your sweat. With that said, then the first thing is to get you enrolled in a GED program. Look, I don't mean to put you out, but this, this ain't how I thought it was going to play. Taking the easy way, man. Back in the game. Me, Oscar, a bunch of the guys, we seen it. Couldn't help it. They practically ran right past us. And the victim, the girl, had a gun. Whose side was she on? Couldn't tell. They weren't doing slow motion. Did any of them have a big scar? Do you think you'd be able to recognize any of them again if you saw them? Just Omar. Oh, so you know Omar. <laughs> Omar came up around here. Uh, come on. Officer. Excuse me. Officer? Is this, uh... North and Pulaski? Because I could fucking swear Dozerman was shot up at North and Pulaski. <laughs> oh, no, wait, wait. Well, let me guess. The pursuit of your fellow officer's service weapon has led you to this fine citizen. Tell me, kind sir, do you know the whereabouts of said officer's weapon? I didn't think so. Calls from the detention center. Some kind souls begging to assist you in your foundering investigation. <laughs> Let me just grand jury my man here, lock in the story. Now for the gun, later for his story. And that's your sergeant talking. Yo, nigga, give me that shit. <laughs> there you go. Oh. How easily influenced can you be, man? I. What was her date? She caught a hack up the Townsend Town Mall, hit two jewelry stores, and came back with bags from both. By the time she caught up with our boy, she was wearing one of them shits around her neck. Gave the other one to him. You know, his and hers, like. Yeah, Cuddy. She was on that shit, man. Try to sell me a condo. Cocksucker. Might as well join the Rotary and take up golf or some shit. He's running with the hounds, though. I'll bet his heart is still with the fox. <laughs> Stringer's out of the game. Mr. Bell has become the bank. <laughs> the bank? The bank plays it legit. He generates a good bit of honest income, but at the same time, his money finances packages that he himself will never touch. He won't go near the street. He's insulated from the everyday operations of the corner. The money that comes back is then laundered through enough straight business investments that there's no way to trace it. Yep. A play against at that point, there ain't no way in hell a working police is gonna tie a can to his tail. Oh man. So, can tell Williamson the prince. Play the boring game. Where are we at on this mope? Uh, DNR's on a couple of payphones. You gonna help or what, boy? Might as well not even take a whistle if all I'm doing is standing in the fucking alley. That's where you belong. That way, I ain't got to be worrying about getting my damn head blown off because you all scared and shit. Ain't enough. Y'all hear me? I said enough. 
Come on up and put some pumpkin balls in the shotgun, man. <laughs> Kimmy. Both y'all learn to live with it or y'all out, man. Sir? Oh, you are my DU sergeant, right? I need a list of names. Oh, maybe narcotics downtown or something like that. I don't know. We're knocking heads, taking bodies. I didn't know I was supposed to be doing a census or nothing. <laughs> that just goes to show the type of work Herc and Carvo have been doing. They're more interested in the violence and staying in their authority. Hey, yo, man. Man. Kick ass and take no names. <laughs> hey, yo, my man need to drop a negative. Yeah. Five dollars. How the fuck are they was just two? You try finding clean piss in Baltimore. <laughs> Five ago. Everybody hustling in Baltimore. Yo, I know it's clean. I get mine from daycare. Yo! I need you to put the chicken in the oven at 375. That's bad. Yes, and after you're done that, I need you to help me put your sister down. Excuse me, miss. Are we going to just ignore what that guy just said? Put your thumb on the scanner. Hold on a second. What's your name? Wise. Dennis Wise. Take one of those, go around the corner to the second door. No, you cannot go outside. Are you listening to what I'm saying? No cameras, no cameras. I get mine from daycare, bro. Come on. That's disgusting. That's what we got on the West Side Dealers. That's a whole lot of empty. George, I'm looking at the sprinkling of rap sheets here. Well, you tell me nobody in this apartment know who controlled the West Baltimore Corners anymore? Hey, Rawls has my people doing street rips. You gotta go down to Daniels' you know, crew, man. They know. Try the intelligence unit. Shit, they sent me to you, George. What the fuck can I tell you? With all the street work, ain't nobody left doing high-end drug stuff. I wish someone could get a lot of mileage out of this with the press, but fuck that, right? Because if I go that way, then everybody gets defensive and nothing gets fixed. I'm coming to you with this, straight up. Agreed. Where do we stand on this? You've True and straight up. <laughs> on this with the state's attorney <laughs> and the police commissioner. It's penciled in for next Wednesday. No, 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 Tommy's right on this. We need to act quickly. Glad you came to us with this. I'll light a fire, believe me. All right, thanks. Yeah. Uh, you, you will keep me in the loop on this. Yeah, absolutely. Councilman? We'll see about that. Behind closed doors, let's see what they say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, slow up, girlfriend. We need to talk for a minute. Yeah, sweet thing. We met before. Nah, baby, but that can happen. Uh, we ain't met. Excuse me. Hey, it's, it's just talk, baby. Get the fuck out the way. Hey, look, girl. All we need for you to do is talk it's to us for five just minutes. Don't stupid. Hey, look, hold on, girl. All we want to do. Is Now we gonna talk. How the fuck is this little run of a unit holding all this drug intelligence? I think that just says a lot about um, the game um, and the times Cuddy grew up in. He probably sees that as normal to do. And those boys back then probably did that. And that's how he was taught to deal with things by force and violence like that, especially the women. But come on, Cardi, man, come on. Come on. He's, he's, he's an individual probably. He's, he is an individual from another time. And doing 14 years in the can, obviously the game has evolved. It's still the game, but the game's just kind of upgraded. You saw that with the weapons and even the way people negotiate and deal with stuff now, I feel like. Um, but yeah, this bunny interaction here is going to be cool because I was like, just saying right there, go to Daniels' detail. They know a lot about the drugs. Yeah, I made the round out of headquarters, came up with Jack, and y'all holding all this. <laughs> you run a couple of wiretaps, you fill up a file cabinet pretty fast. This is great, thanks. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> this is where you land. This pretty boy. I broke his ass in. I wrote more on ID complaints on Bushy Top here than on the whole goddamn squad. That's till he scuffed himself up. Now, where you at, McNulty? 1911 South Clinton Street, first floor. Bushy Top. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a genuine yeah. interaction. You can tell, like... You gotta keep him close. But still, it's a good goddamn police right here. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you to our shop? I'm trying to find out who ran in my corners. My own DU is just about street riffs and headquarters with no help neither. Y'all saved my ass, so... Wait till... about your boy, Marlo? It's in the files, along with every other mid-level player we know. You don't mind me asking. What are you going to do with all that, Major? Well, a round of these young men. Put a little Comstead on the ass. Young man. <laughs> Bush it up. Bush it up. <laughs> Wait till he finds out. Wait till Bunny finds Bush out how deep tough. this shit goes. <laughs> Bush it up. I prefer McNutty. <laughs> uh, point of order and shit. Check, recognize this theme rep, the Veronica Avenue boys. All right, look. We done talked this shit to death, all right? When we gonna vote? Rick, do you have a point? All right, then. All those in favor of going together so we can get the best discount on New York package. Raise up. A community street meeting. Yo, Proposition, Proposition Joe's hair. I like it, man. I like it. Look like we gonna make more money together. Gotta say I'm proud of y'all for putting aside petty grievances and <laughs> putting this thing together. For a cold ass crew of gangsters, y'all carried it like Republicans and shit. <laughs> y'all remember, man, talk this shit up when you hit them bricks. Best way to get more involved is to tell people about the, the benefits of this here thing. No beefing, no drama, just business. Anybody got problems with anybody else here, we bring it to the group. Keep it boring. Take it to the streets. All right. But the streets are streets. Let's do it. And Marlo doesn't seem to be here. And Marlo doesn't seem like he's going to play with your game. Motherfucker, what is that? The Robert Rule say we got to have minutes for a meeting, right? <laughs> <laughs> minutes. Are you, are you taking notes on a criminal fucking conspiracy? <laughs> what the fuck is you thinking, man? Huh? <laughs> nah, man. Nah. That, oh, he played Halo. Oh, my God. You taking notes on a criminal fucking conspiracy? Oh, bro, that is iconic. Nah, the the way that the like minutes on a meeting is actually hilarious. Talking about the rules, cause that is that is true. Like every corporate entity needs to record the minutes of their meeting. It's a legal requirement. <laughs> Like, are you taking minutes on a criminal fucking conspiracy? I am a bird. Oh, I love this show, man. I love this show. I love the cat. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let me. Whew. And I'm sorry if I haven't like commented much on the camera work. It's been simple and effective thus far. There's nothing too flashy. If I need to commentate, I will commentate. Oh man, I'm... That's cool. Daddy's cheating. Oh, they're finally staying in the bunk beds. Finally! I get to see it. How are you two getting along with mom's new friend? We call him Dennis. He's not new. Okay, how you doing with him? Mom says we can't talk to you about family stuff. <laughs> Dad, you going to the open house? And you're beating up and getting blood on a classical jersey like that. Steal from my motherfucker, hmm? huh? Yo, get the rank too, y'all. Shit won't come off, yo. Don't tell me you're gonna cut his finger off. You know the man works for us. You keep going at him like that, ain't gonna be nothing left of him to make right what he owes. Cuddy coming out of the shadows now, man, like Omar. Don't tell me you're gonna piss on him. Oh, okay.
Bitch, you got to pay. <laughs> hey, yo, check his pockets, yo. His pockets, man. <laughs> that dog's mine, y'all. Show fuck off of. Get the fuck. <laughs> You only do two days in here. <laughs> the day you go in and the day you come out. <laughs> hey, man, I've been here for 26 months. You come pick me up in a motherfucking court. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, baby? Oh. What up, man? Woo. Man, I'm feeling real good to be out of this motherfucker. You know what? It's a sign on the other side of the skate. They say never again. And that's the only fucking thing I want to take with me from this world. Never again. Let's get you looking right. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Yes. Good looking, baby. Oh, this is going to be so interesting. We got Avon back, baby. We got Avon back. <laughs> I think never again as well to Avon going like back in there is true. Bring as many as you can down to the Vincent Street area by the end of the shift. Don't use your wagons. Bring as many as you can in your cars. And boring works well for Avon. Boring works well for Avon in terms of like him keeping a low profile. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how Avon feels about everything changing the way it has. I assume Stringer's been keeping him in the loop on these things um, with the sort of uh, the meetings they have and um, the phone calls they have, the face-to-faces they have at the, uh, at the prison. Um, so I am expecting that Avon shouldn't be shocked about how things are running at the moment. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how him and Stringer's relationship evolves from now on. We might get a similar situation um, to Cuddy with Avon. I know Cuddy did 14 years and Avon did 26 months. Um, but it might be a situation where they have to adapt to how things have changed. The hoppers wouldn't listen. What makes you think these guys will? Now, middle management means that you have just enough responsibility that you got to listen when people talk. And not so much that you can tell anybody to go fuck themselves. <laughs> hey, yo, where cheese, man? I want to see cheese. <laughs> it seems like Amsterdam might work after all. Look, my major just wants to talk. That's all. Promise. We'll bring you right back. Ain't gonna happen. Carmelo Anthony. What you say? <laughs> the fuck you mean it ain't gonna happen? Let me tell you something, motherfucker. We got orders to bring your sorry ass down the way for a sit down with our boss. Now we're prepared to take you with us right now. We can either do this the easy way. Brain dead fucks. It's up to you. Hello. Press, it's me. I think I got a little situation here. Stay with me. Ten seconds. Major wants the dickhead. You gotta go. I think he gets a pass this time. You sure? I mean, you want? He goes. Another time, Hurt. We're on the Major's clock here. <laughs> Forget the face, cocksucker. It's gonna be a tomorrow. No, it's okay. I'll tell you later. I love how Herc is wearing a shirt. If you're scared, say you're scared. Now, that's that's that just says a lot about Marlo and his crew right there. That interaction, that face-to-face -face with Herc and Carver. In particular, Herc. That Marlo is a very, very dangerous individual. They're not afraid to stand up to these guys. And they're all ready to go right there. It wasn't until only Marlo gave the signal and waved it off. That, you know, give it a pass this time. So even though Carver said, um, you know, we're gonna give this by a give this guy a pass, I feel like Marlo did the exact same things to Herc and Carver because it could have ended bad for these two right here. Say we get the troops, fuck these assholes up. He ain't gonna comply. Are we playing squash now? <laughs> If he bursts around on this, I'm going after him, big time. For real? Trust me on this. He keeps ducking me. I'm gonna fuck him good. Pause. 
That's a good part. That's what I call a carrot. Now, you move your people into any designated area I told you about, and you'll have immunity from arrest and prosecution. You're free to make your drops, collect what need collecting, won't nobody bob you. Who's playing who here? My word on it. <laughs> what do you get out of this? That's a fair question. I want to salvage what's still worth salvaging in my district. And I can't do that with a bunch of young hoppers running around scaring the hell out of decent people. Now, these kids ain't gonna listen to me, but they will listen to y'all. Now, you tell them to move down here, set up a shop, and they will. So the way I got it figured, I motivate you, and you motivate them. No, that's the trap. <laughs> no, you check out the spot. There ain't no cameras, ain't no microphones, nothing. Any cops you see gonna be down right on the perimeter, just to make sure there's no violence. And you watch. You see if it don't work out the way I say. Oh, nothing personal against you, Chief, but what happens if we buck? You remember the carrot, right? Well, you choose to stick instead. <laughs> you gonna feel that stick like you ain't never felt before. We gonna indict every corner, every day. I got over 200 sworn personnel, and I plan to free up every one of them to knock every one of y'all down they can. <laughs> You on the corner in my district? It ain't gonna be about no humble. It ain't gonna be about no lawyer in charge, nothing like that. It's gonna be some biblical shit happening to you on the way to that motherfucking jail wagon. You understand me? And while you bucking the new system, the smart ones among you are gonna be down here making money, hand over fist. So think it over. He proposed it well. I swear to God, come Monday, <laughs> your world of mine ain't gonna be the same. He gonna. He gonna throw the whole book at us. <laughs> I thought you said these goddamn houses were faking. That's oh, Cuddy's grandmother, yeah? There's one more thing I Oh, Cuddy's mother, sorry. Because her house was the only one that bought it up. Hey, yo, I'm hearing the boy Dink got that man gun. Now, I ain't sure yet if that Dink be Dink Dink or Inky Dink or maybe Fat Dink. Then again, it might be flat nose thing. No. <laughs> nah, nah, that can't be him. That thing dead. Look, man, I can help you. But first, you gotta get me out from under these murder beefs. <laughs> How many murders are we talking? Oh! Look, man, do it have to be the cop's gun? Because if it's guns you want, I can get you guns. Funk having a long day. He's talking to a lot of peanuts. <laughs> Box lunches taste like shit. You got something so important, man, you can't go through the proper channels. Well, no. I don't know. I just figured if I told anybody but you, you might think I'm riding a rock. What well, makes me think you ain't? Yeah, right. That's a good point. Look, today, me, Tucky, Lil Mikey, man, we all, a bunch of us got scooped up by the police. You shouldn't sell drugs. <laughs> all right, all right. No wire, no wire. So they didn't take us to the station. They took us down to the bottom of Benson Street, where all the houses is boarded up, and they let us out. And then, on top of all of that, like the whole while, they was being all like decent and shit. And you know that fucked me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like the, the police chief, he come out. And, and this is the crazy part. He say that he got it set up to where we can sell stuff in certain spots and the police won't bother us. I know. I know. It's fucked up. But I just thought you you should know. Fair enough. Birdie's doing the right thing going to Stringer straight away. You have to. That's it? Yeah, just that and, and the boy Marlo. Yeah, I'm on it. Yep. I feel like some of the shots right there um, of Stringer on the docks um, on the harbor right there really paralleled some of the shots in season two with Frank Sabotka looking down at the harbor and looking down at the docks um, and just thinking over things, thinking of his next plans, thinking about what he's going to do, even though it's like 
two different uh, i don't know if it's two completely different worlds um with the with the the dock workers and obviously what a uh, string is involved in but i feel like i don't know i don't know if it's like a place of just thinking a place of calm um where they both go to just to you know um think things through and just reevaluate everything but i just i feel like i couldn't help but notice the parallels right there between frank sabotka and stringer right there it might be a stretch but like just the similar situation of being on the water and things like that i feel like it gives um those characters a little bit of clarity and being away from you know all the city stuff and from the crowded areas that's marlo's bends that's marlo's bends 25 for the bends <laughs> this here the spot, cause Tucky says we supposed to set up shop here. Hmm? Amsterdam. Yeah, this is it. Amsterdam. Set up anywhere inside <laughs> where we got the white flags. <laughs> Neutral zone, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna roll low. We just got here. What's wrong? Ain't nobody around the bar. Good point. Man needs customers. I'm saying. Oh no. I mean you can't make me. I'm a sworn fucking police officer. <laughs> so man, you got that body bag still? Uh huh. Right now. Whoa, 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 boss, you're fucking up, man. You didn't even let me cop before you snatched me up. Is that some fucking rule? You call, we haul. Bam, that was clean. Yeah, of course I'm clean. Stupid ass lucky didn't even give me a chance to call. This corner is indicted. You move over to Vincent Street or we come back with the bracelets. Damn, I saw the amount of bodies in that van. This is the Projects 2.0 right here. Marlo and Stringer. Let's go. Let's go. What you got? 10 11 me and Rick and Calhoun. Despite unforeseen delays, we will begin an academy class this January, which leaves us in good shape for the coming year. Thank you, Commissioner. Chair, please, as I have a couple of questions. Uh, Commissioner, I know that you're aware that a state witness in a recent city homicide prosecution was killed. Uh, we are treating that incident with the highest priority. Homicide has set up a task force, and narcotics is working the informant angle. We have also asked both the FBI and DEA for support. Sounds like a full court press. Yeah. But you must admit, it's a bit like closing the barn door after the horse is out. I mean, shooting of the boy on the lot at Lake Clifton High School was a high-profile case, wasn't it, Commissioner? Yes, it was. And yet a key witness in the case was allowed. One moment. Excuse me, Commissioner, but the chair was good enough to remind me that you have a pressing engagement. So if it's all right with you, we can continue this at a later date. A political game, man. A political adjourned. game. Can we talk about right there how... Those over the head, um, sort of high angle bird's eye shot. There's been three of them this season, if I'm not mistaken. You know, you had the first episode where the, you know, sort of, um, it, it, I apologize. It was not a, it's not a courtroom. It's sort of like a, a commission room, just a normal, um, yeah, it's like a commission meeting, um, a sort of like assembly room. Um, yeah, the first one, pretty empty. Um, Karketi and Burel, you know, having their normal formal meeting. Um, and then obviously Karketi putting it down to Burrell and saying, you know what, um, so are we square now? Or like things, I think it was similar, something along the lines of that where, um, you know, Karketi basically showing how much power he has to Burrell. And then the second time, um, obviously when they did that same shot, 
that was sorry that was Karketi sticking it up to Burial with all the press there all the media how packed that room was and then now here it's a little bit it's quiet again it's quiet it's a little bit empty only the necessary people are here and then yet again Karketi showing his powers and you know using the um the visual the visual signals right there like Burial's like what the hell's going on Karketi we we're not meant to be asking these questions here and then Karketi bang lay off like that oh man Did you see Burrell sweat? The man's collar almost melted. The hell got into you? You did, old buddy. You did. Yeah, it was you, Kakeri. You talked about fighting the good fight. You talked about asking the right questions, looking for answers. To the line, all out. So we're just rounding up. <laughs> There's something so off about this. It's, I don't know, it, it just feels so off. It almost feels post apocalyptic in a sense, especially with this location. And the way that just played out like rounding up all the buyers, all the drug addicts, and just planting him here. WMD, right chair, right chair. They created their own like utopia. Is this Maze Runner or something? I don't know, it's just the location is almost a character in itself right there, that hamster dam. And it's too quiet in a way. That it's scary. Forget everything the boy Bodhi told you. You smart man, I can see that. I wanted you to choose somewhere safe for us to speak, but goddamn. Only bugs and this motherfucker gonna have legs. <laughs> nah, I appreciate smart. But you gotta know in this game, man, it ain't enough. You a student of history? You know this town had its share of smart players, man. Melvin, Little Will, Big Head Brother, Peanut, Warren. Oh, real smart, man. Is that some of the real stories smart. Proposition Joe told him that he didn't know about those guys? Their names rang out. Bam. Feds is on them. Know what I mean? Government ain't want you to be organized. Nah, they want you scrimping and scraping and killing each other on the corner on some bullshit. Not me. That's why me and Prop Joe, we're getting ready to put this co-op together. Different crews, one package. Best dope, best coke. Share and share alike. Been hearing about that. You've been hearing about that? Well, that's good. That's a start, right? Marlo you know, got that cold you look, man. Out there, man. You, you got, got that, that cold look. In your aunt's name or some shit? Now, when they come get you, that straw purchase out there gonna come bite you in the ass, boy. That's what they do. They turn your money against you. Now, you, I'm thinking with the corners that you got, you close to a mill, right? You doing all right? You doing all right? But I ain't ain't got your name on the crib, right? Ain't got you a little spot for you to wash that dirty money? That's what I'm offering you, man. Come on, who's he in there with? I told you. Keep watching. Bunk puts you up to this. <laughs> Tell you what. How about a case of that PBR piss you drink against a touch of the Irish? But you went out the back and you are watching that house for nothing. Here comes your nothing. I want to know how the rest of that conversation played out. Whoa. <laughs> I like my pissing bottles. Any way you like, darling. Chris, tell our people to tool up. I'm on it. Marlo that got them killer eyes, man. Tool up. <laughs> oh, come on, man. The little kid. Every time I see a little kid running the corner, it's like... Yeah, it's like we ain't even standing here. The hoppers call it Hamsterdam. Like from Amsterdam. Hamsterdam. <laughs> the police and the drug dealers and the addicts coexisting? What is this? <laughs> Such as algebraic reasoning and... <laughs> we are. The integrated... Excuse me, I'm thirsty. Can I get you to give you something to drink? 
integrated math program here consistently. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not much spread, but you can't go wrong with crudity. Crudity? Well, I'm sorry, you know. I came straight from work. I already changed. No need to call names, right? What do you do, Mr. I'm on the board at Leg Mason. It's Jim McNulty. Leg Mason. Well, either that or I'm a cop in the city. I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he gonna bang the girl from Washington? D'Agostino. So, how do you find the school? It's good. My ex and I think we're sending our boys here. Any problems, difficulties? No, not really. I mean, there's the uh, math integration class for my oldest. He's in the sixth, seventh, and uh, I'm not sure he's ready, you know, for all that math. Yo, did you see her eyes widen when he said X? Fuck! How does he keep getting away with this? It's fair game. It's fair game. He's a single man. He's a single man. He's a free agent. It's fair game. But like, he didn't even need to approach her. A country boy. Shut up. He didn't even need to approach her. She approached him. She an animal, man. They want to welcome home party. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, it's, it's, uh, man. I just wish I wasn't home more coming home, you know? I know. Enjoy tonight. We'll talk later. Woo! Woo! Welcome home. What up, Frock? How you feeling? You know? <laughs> you looking fit. <laughs> Hell yeah, I've been working out in there. So <laughs> might be a good place for a fat man to find his <laughs> I love Proposition Joe's haircut, man. Oh. <laughs> Damn, Shawty, you fun. Yeah, she got a campaign to run, man. She on the clock 24-7. These guys might be perfect for each other. So what do you do? You should get dressed. I got a lot of work here. It's a long day for me tomorrow. Damn. She hit and run. Never know, you might get bored working. I gotta work. No strings attached, McNulty. <laughs> you gotta go. Don't catch feelings, my man. <laughs> Yo, she ruthless. She ruthless. Simpsons hit and run. Damn. <laughs> Any dollar you spend now is going to come back to you ten times. I mean, look at the heavies at this welcome party. All right, look at look at the heavy Levi, this guy, Clay Davis. This all confirms the suspicions um, in season one with Clay Davis and his driver picking up the money from the projects. I mean, we already knew, but like, there is not an inch on Clay Davis that is not dirty, man. Like, come on. <laughs> Coked up. There wasn't a question in my mind how to go. The government's gonna be looking at you hard too. There's no sense in giving them what they're looking for. You take what you have, you build on it. Yeah, it's all good. We got a little bit of 50 in the background. Hey! Right there. We over here getting high in the middle of all this. Now where the fucking discipline at, yo? Fuck. Toss the news. Get your asses out of here, boy. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. She fine. She fine, man. Yo, I gotta show you something. Why is he cock blocking him, man? Come on.
okay. Uh, huh. Damn, that's tight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit, this ain't my little place down in Jessup, but uh, you know what I mean? What the fuck is, right? This is all you, B. All you, in your name, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? This piece of paper right here, make it legit. Keys to the navigator in the basement. Uh -oh. It's just a rental until you pick up something nice. What a welcome home present. All this, huh? Legally. You did good. <laughs> Legally. Man, I mean, we making so much straight money, man. We could carry shit like this out in the open, in our own names. Yo, you you remember when we used to sit on the top of 734 building, man, looking at the city? You talk about what we gonna do? And you was all heavy into that black pride bullshit. Talking like you gonna get you two grocery stores and make motherfuckers proud. <laughs> sure was, man. You was out hunting on a, a AK-47. Talking about <laughs> I'm gonna get warned. <laughs> oh. Man. Brothers, B. Always, baby. I'm interested to see Always. this relationship, man. There, there's something there. Hey, it's one more thing, though, man. You know, uh, I don't mean to be picking with you about this, but especially not after you did all this shit for me. Look, man, I've been locked down. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, you know what? I got to take this meat, you know? Nah, I, I... I'm going to get at you. Welcome home, man. Who's really the top dog now? Like, I just feel like, I don't know if Avon feels like he's second fiddle. My man. <laughs> My man. Don't get too distracted, Avon. Don't get too distracted, Avon. <laughs> <laughs> interesting that was such an interesting interaction between stringer and avon right there and i don't know if it's like stringer feels like he's the top dog now and that sort of position and him dictating everything while avon was out of prison has gotten to him i feel like i don't know if stringer's forgot his place if that makes sense um and it's going to be interesting to see how things run now. And if Avon decides to put up with this stuff, I know it's the homecoming night. I know he might get too distracted in all the niceties of it. So he might just allow it for this night. But are those frustrations going to get built up over time? And is Avon himself um, going to explode? Is he going to be like, yo, String, what are you doing, man? Like, I should have a say in this. Is Avon's say going to get lesser and lesser, if that makes sense? Because Stringer has set everything in place um, and things are going to go about it his way. And, you know, he's the man taking the college classes. He's the man learning economics, real estate, business. So it's going to be interesting to see how things play out because Avon's more the street guy, I feel like. So, yeah, I'm very interested to see how this is all going to play out. And then, obviously, you have Marlo, who's going to be a thorn in everyone's side, um, not only to Avon and Stringer, but to Proposition Joe, potentially. Um, and all those individuals, all those crews have got together and sort of, you know, formed this... Um, what, what was it say? Formed like sort of like a little democracy right there. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Marlo, um, you know, rivals these guys. Because this guy, Marlo, looks like he does not give a shit. My guy has no fear whatsoever. He's not going to be afraid to stand up. He's not going to be afraid to pull the trigger. And he's going to make some big, bold decisions. Um, and he feels like he wants to be king in all this place. He wants to run everything by himself. He don't care about keeping things clean. He don't think he don't care about, you know, filtering the money to keep things in his own name. I feel like he epitomizes the street more than anyone. He wants the streets to be his. So it's going to be very interesting to see um, how things play out with Marlo. And then we still got Omar lurking in the background. So, yeah, damn, this is shaping up to be a fantastic season. The Wire, as always, guys, be boys and buzzers. Take care. God bless. Peace.